Hiya, my name's Sam and I'm here to talk to you about the Access Courses here at South Staffordshire College. The Access Course is a nationally recognised Level 3 qualification which opens the doors to universities. So if you've ever had aspirations or dreams of being a nurse, a teacher, social worker or study subject degrees, then the Access Course could be the course for you. The entry requirements for the Access Course are dependent on your Maths and English qualifications. If you've got both of them at GCSE Grade C or equivalent Grade 4, then you've matched the entry requirements without any problems. If you haven't quite got those, but you've got one of them at a C or its equivalent and the other one at a D, then you may still be suitable to do the Access Course. However, we would expect you to study the other qualification alongside. And now I'm going to hand over to Alison, who's going to talk a little bit more about access at South Staffs. Hello, my name's Alison, and I'm one of the course tutors at South Staffordshire College um, on the Access to Higher Education programme. And I'm going to tell you a little bit um, about the courses that we offer um, and career progression in order to help you to decide which diploma is the best one for you. So there are a range of different courses that we offer here at South Staffordshire College. Um, there's a health diploma, um, humanities and social sciences diploma, along with a land diploma, in addition to um, IT, business and computing um, that we are going to run as well. So there's a range of different diplomas on offer here at South Staffordshire College. Um, I'm going to talk to you mainly about the humanities and social sciences diploma as this is the one that I teach on and tend to run. Um, if you've been out of education for a long time um, or looking at a change of career or perhaps you may have studied A levels um, but didn't quite get the grades that you needed then the access course is for you. Um, like I say we offer a range of different courses um, but the humanities diploma um, is the most versatile of all of them um, as it's not actually that specific so it's, it's more of a, a range of subjects um, and there's lots of different careers and progression and various different pathways that you can do from the humanities course because it is so generalised. Um, so the course will support um, your knowledge, development in knowledge, but also skills for university and also future career pathways as well. So we're very supportive um, in the fact that um, we're not here just to give you subject knowledge, but we're here really um, to support your progression um, for your chosen career. Um, so typical progression routes, so students typically um, go on to do various different things really from the humanities programme. Um, so that, that might even actually be um, vocational courses such as sort of primary teaching, social work, sort of very specified. Um, but most students who do the humanities course tend to go to do subject degrees and then go and get jobs from those. So things such as history degrees, law degrees, combination of degrees such as psychology, criminology. Um, so it actually opens up a lot of doors. So it really want to emphasize that it's skills development that you're gonna be gaining as well, rather than just subject knowledge. So the idea is, is to give you that skill to go on to university and our job is to prepare you for university and also your future career as well. So I'm going to talk about the subjects that we offer um, within the humanities. So there are four main subjects. Um, one of them is called skills for learning. So this is actually a module, um, a topic area that's across all, all diplomas. So we're here to give you those skills in um, being able to study. So we call it the toolbox really. So how to um, use a variety of sources, create arguments, critical thinking, um, reference skills, English language skills, all of those skills that you need for university um, and your future career. Um, and then all of those skills then are used in, in your subject areas. Um, so as it suggests, it is a 
humanities and social sciences so in terms of humanities we pick history so there's history psychology and sociology as the main subject areas um, so as i say all of those will provide you with skills and most universities will take this diploma for various different um, pathways so primary teaching it's accepted for social work it's accepted for and then just general various other degrees um, so the the diploma very much is built um, to support your progression um, and we do have very high progression rates um, with most students applying to university and then going on to university from um, the access course itself. One of our diplomas at South Staffordshire College is the Health Professionals Diploma. This course works really well if you want to work within the NHS or other allied health professional settings. The course itself is comprised of lots of biology, as you would expect, hoping to progress onto university. We also look at some health studies and some psychology. Each of those three key subject areas are significant within degrees within the related health professionals areas. Alongside that, there's also a study skills element which enables students to work towards improve and develop their skills. We often refer to this as your student toolkit. It's the skills that you're going to need for when you move on and progress into university to help you with your studies itself. These are just a few of the questions that prospective students often ask. How much is the course going to cost? That's an excellent question and one which often everybody wants to know the answer to. The reality is, is you should never have to hand over any money physically to do the course. Circumstances will be based around your age and your prior educational attainment. However, everybody is eligible for the advanced learner loan, which will fully cover the cost of the tuition fees. And when you progress to university and finish university, they will wipe out your tuition fee loan for your advanced learner loan. So technically, the course should cost you nothing. Do I need any work experience? Again, another excellent question. Now that will very much depend on what your progression is going to be. For example, if you want to go into a health related area, then often it is recommended that you have had some experience of working within a health and social care setting itself. Now that experience could be both paid or it could be voluntary experience. The same can be said for other progression routes as well. Teaching, for example, will have mandatory work experience associated with that. Okay, you'll need to have experience of potentially working within the key stage area that you're hoping to move into yourself. Others for subject degrees, no recommended experiences there. However, any experience provides you with valuable life skills that is all important that you can add on to in terms of your personal statements itself. How often will I be in college? This is probably the key question that everybody really wants to know. You'll be in college for three days of the week. We generally try and timetable to try and fit around childcare responsibilities. However, you should be able to try and commit to three full days. This also then provides a little bit of flexibility for perhaps work experience or even paid employment, etc. Should you want any further information about our access courses here at South Staffordshire College, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Thanks!